Good evening, I'm Jeff Glor, and this is our Western Edition. We are going to begin with new information on the disappearance of journalist Jamal Khashoggi. Turkish officials say he was murdered in the Saudi Arabian consulate in Istanbul. Today, President Trump said it looks as though Khashoggi is dead. The U.S. pulled out of an upcoming Saudi investment conference as the search for evidence widened today. Weijia Jiang has the latest. In his strongest remarks to date, President Trump said it appears missing Saudi journalist Jamal Khashoggi is dead. It certainly looks that way to me. It's very sad. On his way to Montana, the president said the Saudis will face serious consequences if implicated. Well, it'll have to be very severe. I mean, it's, it's bad, bad stuff. U.S. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin, scheduled to attend a financial summit in Saudi Arabia next week, pulled out. Writing on Twitter, just met with President Trump and Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, and we have decided I will not be participating. Pompeo, who traveled to Saudi Arabia and Turkey earlier this week, briefed the president on the ongoing investigations. I told President Trump this morning that um, we ought to give them a few more days to complete that so that we too have a complete understanding of the facts surrounding that. In Istanbul, investigators expanded their search, entering the consulate for the second time today, as well as the Saudi consul's residence. They're also reportedly searching a large forest in the city. Turkish media claims this surveillance photo could be a key piece of the puzzle, identifying the man as Maher Abdulaziz Mutreb, an intelligence officer in Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman's inner circle. Khashoggi, a critic of the Crown Prince, entered the Saudi consulate in Istanbul on October 2nd and has not been seen since. Mutreb entered the building just before Khashoggi. The Saudis have denied knowing anything about his disappearance. But a State Department official tells CBS News Saudi Arabia lied and feels cornered. The king might not have known, but his son, the Crown Prince, did. The administration's close relationship with the prince has complicated their response to the alleged murder. The U.S. counts Saudi Arabia as a key ally in the effort to counter Iran, and it is the top buyer of U.S. arms. President Trump has been reluctant to let this episode harm the relationship. Speaking on CBSN last year, Khashoggi warned the Trump administration's embrace of Mohammed bin Salman could backfire. It is dangerous. It is dangerous for Saudi Arabia, for the region. President Trump has not offered up potential penalties against Saudi Arabia, but he has made clear ditching an arms sale worth billions of dollars is not his preference. Jeff sources tell CBS News the results of the Saudi investigation should be made public by the end of the week. All right, Ouija, thanks very much.